Hi, it's Sue here from the Unicorn Advisory, your trusted Kajabi expert with a Kajabi quick tip for you. Now, when you are creating an offer in Kajabi, this post purchase email section can be a little bit confusing because you're not going to want to press none, right? You're going to want to either choose the default email and it's hard to even know what that's going to look like or the custom email. And if you go into the custom email, it's horrible. You can't even figure out how to add bold, how to make the headings bigger, add images or anything else. And each of these lines just goes all the way over. It's a really horrible editor. It's not fun at all. So what do you do when you want to send someone an email after they purchase? Well, it might seem strange, but I click on none. And I use a different way to send emails to customers after they have purchased to congratulate them. And that is using automations. Automations in Kajabi are fantastic and this is a really great way to use them. So what you do is you go in and choose when offer is purchased. You can also do the same for when offer is granted. Then the two ones that I tend to use are subscribe to an email sequence or send an email. And if you're like, well, which one do I use? Well, send an email is a basic email. It's really helpful if you just want to get one email done really quickly and it's only a single offer. You don't have multiple payment plans or um, different types of um, offers like an early bird with two payment plans and then a pay, um, you know, a regular launch with two payment plans. It's good if you've just got one email going out and you just want to do it simply because you can just come in here, send an email, type it out and it's done. And that is the end of it. You can also add formatting. So similar to what you can do in the blog area and the classic editor, you can add images, you can add attachments and files, and you can also turn things into buttons. So we could turn this into a button. Then we could put the URL in there, change the color, and that will become a button. Looks a bit weird here, but when you preview it, you'll see it is actually a button. So um, there are things that you can do in this to give a little bit of formatting. Um, one of the downsides of using send an email as your automation is that you do not have any tracking on that email. You can't see on someone's account that they were sent that. You can't see if they opened it, clicked on anything, etc. cetera. Um, one of the other downsides is if you do have those multiple versions of your offers, you have different payment plans, different versions. If you've got a membership and you've got you know different trial offers and all things like that then I do find it easier to opt for the subscribe to an email sequence option the reason being is that if you want to make any changes to that confirmation email if you have it set up as send an email and say you've got four different offers and even worse, consider that you've got it up on order purchased and order granted. That means on every single one of those, you have to go and update the email individually one by one. Whereas if you subscribe to an email sequence, you just need to go into that sequence and update the sequence email once and it's going to automatically work for all the other ones. So I do tend to use subscribe to an email sequence also because I really like to see if people are getting the emails and if they're opening them, clicking them, etc. So for subscribe to an email sequence, it's pretty easy. You just go and choose the sequence. So you do need to have the sequence set up first and then you can just go and find the one. Um, oh, I don't know if I've got one in here. Let's pretend it's this general welcome sequence. That's a welcome sequence for the course or for that particular offer um, and then save. And then that is automatically going to add someone into that sequence. Now, just something to bear in mind. If you are doing a sequence in Kajabi, quite often the sequence is going to, when you add a new email and you start that first email, it's going to send on day one, which kind of makes sense. But what you need to do is make sure that this starts on day zero because that is going to send out immediately as soon as someone is subscribed. So they're going to get that confirmation straight away. Um, so that can be really helpful. If you're using your send email and then you're adding them to a sequence to start like a week later, that is completely fine. You can do both automations. But if you're wanting just to do that confirmation, um, I have a lot of sequences that just have one email in them and it's just that initial conf uh, confirmation. And the great thing is when you do a sequence is if you did want to add additional emails, you don't need to do anything else in your automations. Um, you can just come to your sequence, you can add extra emails and they'll already be subscribed. So if they are subscribed, they will get those emails as well. So that is your offers 
don't click on default or custom, go on none and it will be a much nicer experience. Now, if you would like more Kajabi help, please do subscribe to this channel. I would really appreciate it. Or get on the quick tips list. You can get these tips into your inbox every single weekday. Go to theunicornadvisory.com slash quick tips and get a dose of Kajabi inspo in your inbox every weekday. Sue from the Unicorn Advisory. See you next time.